Hello there. Today's quick tip video is on using the divide track list functionality inside of Cubase. Cubase has quite a few different tracks that are somewhat organizational in nature, so they help us to organize our project in a more efficient manner. The ruler track's great because it means we can look at things like seconds along the top and still have the musical approach of bars and beats in the ruler track. The marker track lets us organize markers inside of our project so we can jump from section to section very quickly. The arranger track allows us to reorganize the whole arrangement of our project. Then we have really useful musical tracks like the time signature, the tempo, and transpose track. Now, look what happens when I move around my project. I lose vision of these really important tracks. So if we want to be able to see them at all times, we need to go up to the top right-hand corner, click on that pencil, and now we can drag all of these tracks up into the divide track list partition that's now inside the Cubase project. You can resize the partition, and now as you move through the Cubase project, you'll notice that those tracks are visible up the top. Now we can reorganize them or restructure them so that they fit in with our desired workflow. When you don't need to see the tracks in the divide track list, you can simply turn them off, and all of the tracks that you choose to have outside will remain outside. If you need more space on the project, you can simply drag the partition up and then you can keep working outside in the project window. When you need to see it again, you can simply drag it down. So you can turn it on and off or drag it up and down again and choose exactly which tracks you want to have visible inside of the project. If you're really into streamlining your workflow, then I'd suggest you go and have a play around with the divide track list function. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.